Okay guys, we're back here with another video. The new proof LED advanced rim defense. In here, I'll show you guys. So I've already fitted it to my stump jumper. It's in there. Um, with the ARD, it's rim protection. Uh, so you got instructions. This came from off the brake, so huge thanks to them. And then you've got the special valve, which instead of having it go out from straight up and just hit it, because the thing will rest on it, it will come out the sides and go around. It's a pretty cool valve, I've got mine there. Let's see. Um, so, fitting it to my granddad's bike, he's running Minion DHR 2, 2.4, or the 2.3, which is basically 2.2 .2 Specialized Butcher. He does have a very nice bike. Um, so yeah, we'll chuck it in. I'll put you guys down over there on that bit of wood just here. And this is the ARD. And I've already guys how to install it. So it basically just says you've got the tubeless ready stuff. So we've got the, this Afeto Mariposa. Well, it's quite nice actually. I don't think he's got a puncture. So yeah, we just finished the mud guards on the beast. Um, yeah, we'll just run you through it. Alright. Good server. So, um, the valve. Construction back in there. Get the Audi. Gotta need that. Got the special valve. Just put it back in there. Get the sticker. Do it two tire levers and pull up. So yeah, let's get this started. Um, first of all, the tire. Gonna do that. Just gonna put all the parts in that box. So don't lose them. Second of all, I'm take the wood out the tire. These aren't the tyres that originally came on this bike, it's got the Scott Spark 960 and there were four casters on there and he upgraded to some D8 Minions DHF on the front and DHR rear, 2.5 front, 2.3 rear. Taking all the year out of the tyre. I think a spot, like so. Pull away from the bead. Just pull off, you just gotta pull off one side. Not too. Um, we probably should clean out the rim bed, but we don't need to because he's putting the exact same sealant back in and it's running fine. This is the tire lever. You can take the rim one side, not the other side, keep the other side beaded. One side off, nice. And we're going to take the valve out. So, take the valve, it's non tubeless. Which is fit, which has quite a nice fit to these. What about these sun cross rims? Now, got the new valve. So I'm going to take off the dust caps. I'm going to take the lock ring off and the O ring. So I'm certain that the O ring goes on the outside. So I did the marble app and it's working for it. In the back. And that. Make sure, so it's in like a 
rectangle. Make sure the long ways of the rectangle is going with your rim, not against it. It's gone with it, not out. Um, just fits a lot better. Now with this valve, put the o-ring on. Put the lock ring on. So he's running a Feto Mariposa in his tyres as to where I'm running stands. You don't, apart from that, you don't want to just over tighten that. He's got a fair bit left, like, he's got a fair bit of stuff left. Um, so I'm going to put the AOD in. Let me just, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some snips, which are just over there. So I want to absorb the ceiling, and it is extremely light. So yeah, you got the AOD, it's extremely right. You got the profile of it. Got a unique proof logo there. Nuke proof Audi 29 inch. It's extremely light. So, I don't know if you know that you just stretch it a little bit. Make it fit better to the rim. So, I've just done. Um, and I think it's the channel here. I'm not exactly sure. The channel there has to line up with the valve. So, I'm going to put it in. Sped up, I'm not sure. I'm going to start opposite the valve, and I'm going to leave a little section open at the bottom. We're going to leave the four seal. in the rim well, so your rim, but the hooks, and it goes on where the bead normally sits when it's pumped, and it goes down like that, and you got to put it in the well, and it'll fit better. Fit the ARD, and now we're just going to pump it up and hope it pumps. Alright, it's going to push some of that ARD out. This is normally the most annoying part. Okay. 
Okay, it's pretty much done. Just lengthen the valve, seal it up. So we'll just get it to seal up and then take it on a ride. So that's it for you guys, the video guys. It's RD installed. If you've got any questions, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll see you in the next video.